In this Excel video, I'm going to show you how to automatically color code specific words in your Excel spreadsheets. So for example, here I have a spreadsheet with student names, and these are fictional students, and it's got the Common Core State Standards for 8th grade math. And let's say I've been going through and marking the students as having achieved mastery, or maybe they're improving, they're on their way to achieving mastery, or maybe they've declined a little bit in a particular standard. It would be nice if I could just glance at this data and know who is improving, who's declining, who's achieved mastery, etc. Excel has a very powerful feature built into it that can help us with this. Let's look at how to do it. I'm just going to go here to the upper left and I'm going to click on this button here. That will select all of my data. And then here on the Home tab, on the Home ribbon in the Styles group, I'm going to go to Conditional Formatting. And I'll click there and choose Highlight Cells Rules. And I'm going to pick Equal To. And I'm going to type in the word Mastery. Notice that immediately all instances of the word mastery have changed to a dark red text with light red fill. So already I can see that the conditional formatting is working. But as I think about it, I think mastery, I don't want that to show up in red, I want it to show up in green. So I'm going to go with green fill with dark green text. I click OK and that aspect of the formatting of my spreadsheet is done. Now notice that I still have all of the data selected, highlighted. I'm going to go back up to conditional formatting, highlight cells rules, equal to, and I'm going to type improving. This time I don't want it to be dark green text with green fill. I want it to be a different shade of green. Fortunately, you're not limited just to the options that are listed here. You can go here to custom format, and there I'm going to select my fill color, I want it to be a lighter green, and then my font color, I'll go here to this drop down and I'll choose a dark green, but maybe not as dark as the other option. I click OK, and you can see the difference. I'll click OK again, and then go back to conditional formatting, highlight cells rules. It is possible to use this text that contains option, but what if I were to use terminology in some of these cells that said below, and then other cells said well below. In both cases, there would be text that contains the word below, but they would be different. And so that's why I'm choosing equal to. I don't know which of these I would want to be darker red, but I guess I'll go with well below. Click OK. And one last time, I'll go up to highlight cells rules, equal to, and I'll type declining, and then I'll adjust it to be not quite so red. So custom format. I'll have the font color be a little bit less red maybe, and then the fill color, maybe I'll just have it be light orange. Click OK, click OK again, and now you can see that all of my data is color coded. Just with a glance, I can see how a particular student is doing across all of these different core standards. Now my example in this video is an education example, but if you think about it, there are many applications for this in a lot of spreadsheets. So if you have a spreadsheet that has keywords or even numbers that you would like to call attention to and color code, this video has shown you how to do that. Remember, we just click this button to select all of the data, or if you don't want all of the data, you could click and drag to select a range of the data and then just go up to the Home tab up here in the Conditional Formatting group. And because I was dealing with text, I used Equal To or Text That Contains. Equal To would also work with numbers, of course. But there are also all of these other options. What if it's a number greater than or less than a certain number, or between two numbers, or it's a date? So I hope that you'll try out many of these features in your own spreadsheets. If you'd like to learn more about conditional formatting, please watch my other videos on that topic. In the meantime, I hope you found this tutorial to be helpful. If you did, please like, follow, and subscribe. And when you do, click the bell and you'll be notified when I post another video. If you'd like to support my channel, you can do that by clicking the thanks button below the video and by supporting me on my Patreon account and by buying channel merch. And you'll see information about those options in the description below the video. Speaking of Patreon, I want to give a quick shout out to my $5 Patreon supporters. Thank you so much for all you do to support the channel. You help make it possible for me to continue making these educational videos. Thank you so much.